Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children and non-binaries of all ages, I have a question for you. Let's say you were going to your favorite fast food restaurant and you were really hungry, you were really hankering, let's just say it's McDonald's, make it easier, and you were really hankering for a Big Mac. So you get in line, you walk up to the register and you say, I'd like a Big Mac. And they give you a Big Mac. Simple, right? You want a good that they are giving people. You have the means to attain said good. They take your money and they give you what you want. A very simple concept that I feel like is going just the way the fucking dinosaurs when it comes to video games and their transactions because of two words. Loot boxes. Now, for those of you who are unaware of this, a loot box is essentially a drop that you get from playing a game. Typically, the type of MOBA games or a competitive game like Overwatch or Team Fortress 2 or uh, even Gears of War. Games like that. And what happens is you play for a certain amount and you either win some kind of points or you get some kind of ranking system. Some sort of uh, system that lets you either uh, get a drop or allow you to purchase a drop. And I say purchase a drop because you cannot pick specifically what you want. You basically are paying to get random shit. And so let's talk about Overwatch for a second. In Overwatch, you get a ton of loot boxes. You get a loot box each time you level up, which sounds great. But then they have special event loot boxes like they did over during over this past summer for the Olympic Games. And let's say you really, really want that Japanese Genji skin because I sure as hell did. And so you play and you play and you play and you play. And you finally get that fucking drop you wanted, or so you think, because you finally do get an Olympic theme, but it's for a completely different character that you may or may not use. Now, why would they not give you the chance to just purchase said skin? Why would you make it so the only way to get that skin is if you just play random champs? You're essentially gambling. And on one instance, people are going to be like, oh, well, we're not forcing you to do it because you can always buy it. But I'm like, yes, but you can't actually buy the actual skin. You could only buy more loot boxes. So you spend like $20 or $50 or $100 or how many you want to get 100 or 75 or 50 or 25 loot boxes. And you just keep opening them. And lots of people have channels, channel, ugh, channels dedicated to this. But you just keep fucking opening them in, in hopes that you get the one you actually want. Now, I, I won't rag too much on Overwatch for that because that's a really small gripe in that game. Because it's a pretty fun game. Who I will rag on is fucking Gears of War 4. Gears of War 4 has gone, in a lot of ways, in my opinion, backwards in the series. They, they didn't really evolve from Gears of War 3. In fact, I would say this is uh, them devolving. Because not only did they decide they wanted to do the fucking loot crate system, but they said they wanted to nickel and dime you for all you are worth. So, yeah, you can play a couple of games and get points, you know, credits to buy it, so you're using real money. But you're gonna get shit. More often than not, you're gonna get shit. And even if you do buy it, they have these three packs. It's an elite pack, like a booster pack, a starter pack, and then the elite pack is like $49.99. It's with an elite airdrop that gives you like all these fucking loot boxes, but again, no guarantee of getting whatever you want. You just pretty much get what they give you. If you wanted a skin for, say, JD, there's a high chance you're not gonna get a skin for him. You can't even unlock characters. Like in Gears of War 3, if you played enough, or if you had a certain amount of scores and, and death matches, you could unlock characters. Yeah, there were DLC characters that you could have bought when you um, pre-ordered the game, but even those were released later on as just playable characters. But in Gears of War 4, you cannot buy any characters, you cannot unlock any characters. There's no incentive to even level up or do different modes because the only chance you get to get a new character is doing a loot box drop. So you can play Team Deathmatch all you want. You don't have to play any other modes because all you need to do is get enough credits so you can maybe possibly play as a character you want to play as. And to me, that's completely idiotic because it's one thing if this is a brand new IP and this is what you wanted to do, but this is an established game in a series. This is the fourth goddamn game and now I can't pick my character? Now I can't uh, fucking buy the characters I want? Now I can't unlock characters? I have to do this stupid-ass loot crate system? that I don't like, and I don't think they're good in general. I think it's dumb. We live in a capitalist society, and as shitty as that can be, it also means that I should be able to purchase something with ease. Why is it that if I want to play as uh, a fucking robot in Gears of War 4, instead of just going to the character screen and either unlocking it or just paying for it, which I wouldn't mind to pay for it, 
I have to fucking get all these drop boxes. I have to just keep paying and more and more and more for random boxes. Like, that's fucking stupid. And yeah, in the long run or short term, maybe, yes, your company gets more money from these things. But in the long run, this is going to fuck you over. Especially because the game is just a, a fucking mess. It's a mess. They have a season pass, which I also hate, that only lets you play maps before other people. It's not like you get the map and then other people have to buy it to play the map. I have not bought the season pass and I've played on every single map that's come out. You get to play like a month or two of private servers, then it goes public for free. So what the fucking point is it to get a season pass for content that's free? You're literally paying for free content. And I thought Gears of War 3 did this kind of poorly too, because I only had to pay like maybe 10 bucks for all the maps. The first like four or five maps were free maps, but you had to pay for some of them. But Gears of War 4, you don't pay for any of them. Yet, you bought a season pass, you paid for something that you get for like two months. That's like a step above the Nintendo Switch's a new idea to only let you play games for a month regardless if you bought the game or not with their special, like, uh, their version of Xbox Live Gold. But I'm going on a sidetrack. Loot boxes are fucking dumb, okay? If you want to have people keep playing your game, make a good enough game that people are going to be engaged regardless of gimmicks. Like, going back to Overwatch, Overwatch is a good enough game where you don't need to have, you know, loot box be a thing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you're gonna have a loot box, also let me fucking just buy this particular skin I want. Like, going back to the other analogy I used for fast food, imagine if you went to McDonald's, you wanted to get a Big Mac, and they just handed you a box. And inside the box could be a Big Mac, could be a filet of fish could be chicken nuggets, it could be fucking, I don't know, uh, a, a mini Mac or whatever, a cheeseburger. Like, it could be whatever they want. It could just be fries. It could just be condiments. You don't know. But you're still gonna pay for it. You're paying for a guess. You're gambling with something you shouldn't need to gamble with. And I just really hate that shit. This was a very informal rant that I just, I was just boiling over. I was just playing Gears of War. I'm like, how bullshit it is that I can't decide that I wanna play as X character because I have to go, instead of buying them, I have to fucking play the game, uh, get a drop, and hopefully that drop contains the character, even though most drops just came stupid fucking skins that no one gives a shit about. Like, uh, it's just, it's so stupid. Like. These microtransactions are really starting to ruin games. Just let me play a game. Let me unlock shit. Like, half the fun of playing this game was to unlock stuff. Like, you play different difficulty to unlock another character or to unlock another mode. It's, it's so boring if, like, all that does is give me another chance to gamble. Like, what the fuck? I don't want to gamble. I already paid $60 for this game. I want to be gambling for games. Give me what I want. If I want to buy something, let me buy it. Don't have me play a different, a meta game just to get maybe a character I want to play with in game. It's fucking stupid. I'm sick of that shit. Sorry, everyone. I'm just, just really upset. It's, it's, it's fucking stupid. It's, it's just dumb. Just I have money. I have a job. I have income. I will pay to play as Queen Mira if they ever had that in Gears of War 4. I'll pay to, I'll fucking pay to play as a goddamn robot. But give me the opportunity to pay. Don't make me suffer your fucking shit just because you want to make a little more money because like i said before at the end of the day you're gonna have diminishing returns people are just gonna make it's not fucking worth it and it really isn't all right i'm out of here